What's going on YouTube? Well, let's get caught up on some uh, Matchbox and Hot Wheels activity I've been having for the past month or so. Got caught up with a lot of stuff that came out. Well, you know, again, with these cars, you can go down a rabbit hole and, and really just, you know, fill up all warehouse with the stuff. And you could do it in a year if you wanted to. So I try to be as picky and choosy as I can. It's hard. It's very difficult. But... I ended out, I think I made it out okay this round. Um, so, again, a lot of stuff just hit me, slammed all the stores. And I've learned about this cycle um, recently with getting this stuff. Uh, you know, I saw some of the stuff I was interested in only once, and it's been probably a month or so since, uh, since, it's, you know, since I've been able to pick it up and not see it again. So... You know, if you see something you like, I suggest go for it because you might not see it again. Uh, some of the stuff, especially with the Matchbox opening parts, you just don't. I mean, I you know when I got that 280ZX or whatever it was on um, the black and gold car, you know I haven't seen it again. And I go to most of the places to find that stuff and just haven't seen it. So kind of get wary when I see those cars. Um, I went to another store. I got the other opening parts. I mean, I just saw the Riviera being, you know, talked about and released not, you know, that much ago. The 83 Buick, and I saw it on the pegs. I was like, incredible. So, we'll look at that. Um, but let's start with that Hot Wheels stuff. Uh, the entertainment. So, we got, you know, I thought, I didn't get the first time, the Aston Martin. Uh, this is a DB10. This car is really like a concept car. I think it was made for the movie. Uh, but whatever. Anyway, so it's a cool car. Great Hot Wheels casting. I, I don't think they ever did a main line of it. Uh, they released it um, previous as, as a car culture car for entertainment. And there's the... I'm a 007 fan, so... You know, I'll get some 007 stuff. I like this car. It's cool. Um, look at that thing. Wheels are awesome. Even though... Yeah, you know, it's kind of like a retro wheel, <laughs> but it fills out the the look that you want to get from that from the real car. It's a cool concept car. I, I you know it's almost I feel like it's in scale sort of. You know we'll look at a sixty fourth car like this year car, and um, you know it's not going to be a huge car, so it does fit in. I like that. I try to get, you know, if it's a mainline car, even a Hot Wheels Premium, they're always either going to be based on a mainline or they could be a mainline. So, scale is always to the eye of the beholder almost. So, this one looks pretty good. It's got the grill detail. Headlights. Headlights are done cool. You know, this might be a casting people have seen before. I haven't really played with one, so I'm happy to have it. I kept this one loose. I don't have a carded one. Let's get, I think it says. Yeah, I like it. It's good looking. Very very nice car. So I think these had I don't know if they put twelves or eights or whatever they did with this car. I never read up on it. I'm sure it's an Aston Martin engine of some sort. <clears throat> there we go. All right, there she is. Over there. Put her over here. Next car I love um, love Subarus gumball car this thing is cool this one I had to find carded I've seen this cut out a couple of times already on the shelf but not much I mean this is one that a lot of people are gonna want let's go about the entertainment series is they you know even though they're sets the backs never show the rest of the vehicles so it's almost like a standalone collectible type deal even down there, they don't say one of or anything, even though you know they come out as a set. So, Gumball Subaru. This one's a bug eye car, basically. So, I believe these were the, if it's an STI, I think it was still a two liter turbo. It could have been a two and a half. I can't remember. I think the WRAG is maybe already flipped. I can't remember. So, it's either two liter, two liter, half car. This is an 04, basically. Subaru. Um, Impreza 0403 car. It's got the wide body kit on it. Use the same wheels, they're just brighter. So, if you want to refresh your memory, I have the first release. 
Always good to look at them. STI cars. They had a darker rim on the original release than they do on this one. Gumball livery is cool. So, good, good car. You know, these can be quick. This, I'd say, it's, it's again, if you want to have it on a layout or something, it's pretty damn close to a 64th vehicle. Up or down a few. So, good looking. Subaru, definitely a fan. Definitely a fan. Gumball, that's probably going to be pretty collectible too, so it's good. Just more icing on the cake to have that car be a fun runner. The STI car had six speeds on it. So this is one I just got because I saw it on the shelf. I thought, it was, again, a novel car to get. Um, look at this thing. A lot of fun. The movie came out a long time ago. I forget which, you know, if it was in the original one or the ones later. But look at that. <laughs> it beats a planet. So this actually looks kind of simple in the package. You know, it is a premium card, metal base, and all that. But, um, take a look at it. I did get two of them. Actually, when you look at it really close, it's got great um, tampoing and detailing. <laughs> look at that. Uh, they did the rust. I don't think there's an interior on the thing, unfortunately. But, um, the whole truck's good. good. It's like, look at that. They got the bent bumper it's all jacked up let me see if I can get an upper let's see if I can get more light let's see yeah it's a little better you get what I'm saying this moves <laughs> look at that cap doesn't come off I've seen guys on Instagram already you know blow these apart and you know <laughs> do bottom already so the other thing I thought was great, I mean, they spent a lot of time on the printing on this thing. Look at the all the stickers. That's pretty impressive, I'd say. Again, the bumper's all dented up. Basically a cartoon Toyota truck. With an unrecognizable front end. Doesn't really look like anything. I mean, the back, kind of. But, uh... I don't know. It was funny. It looks good on the shelf with the other cars. I got some goofy vehicles. Like, I'll put this next to the Wienermobile. <laughs> so, good roller, too. Anyway, there she is. Pizza Planet. Maybe it'll look good on top of a roof of a building or something. What are my dioramas? I don't know. Thinking about ideas. All right, more Hot Wheels. Drum roll. Um... I did find an extra one of these, so we'll start with this one. It's supposed to be the rarest of the, you know, when you get the case, because I think there's only one. Everything else is a dupe. So, pick me up another one. Of course, I'm no, uh, I'm a fan of the 70 Chevelle. Even a Malibu. I like the Malibu, too, trim line. But, uh, you know, this car is supposed to be basically like a pro touring type car. Even though they're showing like a stock suspension but this is a new casting from Hot Wheels it's not their old Chevelle which is a lot different looking I don't I don't think I have a casting right I have to pull it out I don't know so anyway this is a normal set this is two of five which is kind of funny it should have been one I guess but I don't know so anyway I got this one carded and here they are loose I did not buy the Camaro because I hate that casting it's too fake looking for me I just don't like it, so I never buy it. And actually, <laughs> I think some other people agree with me because it's been turned out to be a peg warmer. Um, but here we go. Again, the Hot Bird casting, the, the Firebird. That's a, another you know Hot Wheels car through and through. It's definitely more Hot Wheels than anything else. But it looks good with the black and gold. You can't ignore having a black and gold TA. So big and littles, Hot Wheels style. You can see on this side, look at that. Big old meats on the back. So, again, goofy car. It's definitely going to be its own deal. 
you kind of collect it for the casting, you know, not being a, a realistic car, but something famous within Hot Wheels, I think. But they used it to, you know, they spent a lot of time on this. They did do a car like this before, but it wasn't didn't look as nice. I don't think the colors were as good as this modern one that just came out is. Real Riders. I think it was a Boulevard car, I guess it was. Do the chrome lip foil. Trans Am there. This fucking camera. Hold on. Let's see. There. Just so you can see the. Because they do a couple of tones of gold. It's not just one. One gold color. And then they do the back pretty nicely. So I did like that. Exhaust is a little weird. <laughs> That's some big soup cans back there. All right, so there's a Trans Am. Um, a car that I like. I like this casting. So the Boss Mustang, you know, it's looking good. And then the white livery. It's got the red interior. It's kind of cool. And it's got the um, torque wheels, basically, on it. Low profiles. But it looks cool. It looks like it's like a, some homegrown type car. Even though it's based on the castings that have been out. Namely, the Golf came out recently. I like this car. It's got the white stripe and all that. And the Tampa work on the back is done very nicely. It's got the black spoiler. So, casting everybody knows and loves. Good looking car. So, park that there. Put that there. And then we got the two bad boys here. So, these look really good, I'd say. Uh, they're a little narrow. I mean, the track obviously on the tires is narrow, but the car itself is a little narrow to me. Uh, the Chevelle is a little bit more square shouldered. It's a little bit wider than this car is. Um, but it's close. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. You know, they even do the, the mirror there, which a lot of those cars back then, even highly option ones would, you know, would only have a left mirror. Not a right. Sits good. Rolls nicely. You can see how narrow it is. You know, underneath, of course, but looks great from the side. They did a great bumper. I think that's one of the best. You know, recently. It's very nice. It's part of the base, so it's, you know, it's tough. It's metal. So they did good. Roof line's good. I th I'd say the window shape is pretty good. So they did, they did a good job. So I just think it's a little narrow. I mean, when you look at it. I don't know, to me. Seems longer than it should be. Yeah. But, yeah, cool looking. And here's the other casting. So, I don't know if this is the first time I've ever done a set like this where it's the same casting. I mean, obviously they painted it different, but... I thought that was interesting. Probably like to show a progression. <laughs> Start like this, and then you do this, or just leave it like this. It does have a rake to it, which I like. That's good. A little extra engineering that they apply to the car. So, and then, the, and then, then in this um, flat primer, you can see the shape of it. You know, the casting is done very nicely. So it's deep door lines and engraving, so it takes paint well. You know, if you were gonna customize this car. <clears throat> Take a look at this grill real quick before we move on. So typical fashion, they paint those headlights pretty nicely. There it is, seventy Chevrolet car like that. You know, it's probably gonna be a big block. They had four fifty four back then for seventy. Um, they had the LS six option, which was very devastating. But I digress. So. We're going to look at some Matchbox, and, I mean, these surprised me. They hit me pretty swiftly, because I didn't even know that, you know, they were going to be in my area. My area is usually the slowest, and let's see if I have a blade to take this apart. Hmm. I don't know if it's here or not. Yeah. That's all right. So, we have Matchbox moving parts, and this is the newest mix. This one's amazing. 
I'm gonna have to get my blade to open that. But that's really cool. That's pretty daring for a matchbox, I'd say. You know, Ford Sedan Custom. I mean, it's almost like a hard top Phaeton. It's very interesting. So we'll look at that. We got the recolor on the square back uh, or fast back, and this car looks really good in this color. It doesn't have the tin and window, which I was like, it almost looked like a brand new model to me. Because look at this thing. So we'll look at that, and then we'll look at the Buick. So, but I'll I'll reserve that to last. I think that to me was the most exciting so far. This is such an odd car. Uh, our family used to have it. Uh, I think it was '83 Eldorado. So I mean, same platform, awesome car. It's completely '80s. So we'll look at that in a minute. So let's look at this Ford. I like this thing. I like hot rod cars, especially classy ones like this one. I mean, it looks like it's got like chrome worms. I like it. So let's take a look. Yeah, we'll just take it out the old-fashioned way, I guess. It's fine. Um, yeah, I didn't have a chance to look at this, so we'll look at this one together. Wow, paint's amazing. Let's leave the door open for a minute. Really cool. It's still a split window car in the front. But this color of the paint, I was surprised. It looked very green in the package. It's very pale. Like a bluish green, so it's like an emerald. Casting is amazing, very delicate. Um, at best, I guess the yeah. So old trick um, for those three pieces of body. So the fenders are plastic, um, and they also carry into the interior. So that's kind of cool. And then base is part of the bumpers, so you get a different color contrast there. Really thin doors. So, really look at that. Really nice. Closed very nicely. So, very impressed with this car. Probably have to get another one of these if I see it, if I ever do. This is, like I said, these are the cars that are seem to be one and done. <clears throat> so, we'll see. Maybe someone will get them soon. Highly recommend this one. This is a cool car. Definitely, definitely cool, cool car. Love the way it looks. So it rolls out nice. Um, that's all Tampa work there on the grill. That looks kind of good. So, really neat. Very excited. The 36 Ford. 36 Ford. Very interesting. 36 Ford is a good looking car, really. So, put that over there. All right, so we're going to look at the fastback this is a 1965 car you know later in the 60s these little uh, fastback squareback cars i guess they offered a fuel injection model which was kind of neat but that was interesting usually this is you know volkswagen's tried and true flat four air cooled um little motors yeah i like this color a lot better blue suits this this looks a lot more realistic um than the red car great tampo work you know they kept these at dollar 99 so they're not crazy money and uh i love them good looking good good looking stuff here's the other one by comparison again that's a car that matchbox did you know originally in the old days when these cars were new <laughs> they had a, the, a casting of this car so the red's cool but i mean i don't know that green windshield I love this. Look at that. That's good looking. So, little Volkswagen. Little skinny track tires on there. Let's see what that says. Yeah. Type 3. Look at her go. This car is a lot, probably a little big, I'd say, for what it is. It's probably a little smaller in real life against the 164th. What does it say? Does it have the scale? Sometimes they have the scale, sometimes not on the basis. I don't see it. So there we go. Little Volkswagen. All right. Next. Um, but not last but not least, I'd say, <laughs> is a really cool car. This is the one I was like, are they really going to do that? They did it. Look at that Buick. This star is an 83 um, car. They ran this platform from basically late, or early, or no, late 78 as a 79 model, I think. And then it went all the way to uh, 85. I think because 86, yeah, they changed it. They downsized it. Um, but front-wheel drive, V8 car. Uh, usually these are like the 
301, 307 motors until um, they were done. But, you know, old Buick motor, basically. All right, here we go. And then Cadillac had, I think, shared this motor. And then the, the Toronado had its own. I don't, I don't, can't remember. So that, but basically, you got Toronado, Riviera, Eldorado on this platform. And uh, they tried to keep the shape of the car from the 70s with that the way that grill went but <laughs> they did a good job matchbox did a really good job on this it's very ruby red they did not contrast the top i can't remember what the convertible probably i'll probably write it in the bottom if i look it up but they did offer a convertible on this car but it was you know general motors didn't do it uh, they sent it to a company and they did it and i think they went back to the dealer after it was done and installed so or it went from the factory to the convertible shop to the dealer something like that anyway here it is 83 riv a very narrow track look at that <laughs> very very narrow um probably with the wheel swap um this car look a little bit better but it's still it's more novel it's a little bit goofy looking very heavy casting which is funny because this car I, I get it. it could be difficult to do but you know this one dirt it's not even the same league i mean this one is funny how they they could have probably did this car maybe better i don't know maybe they just was like hey let's just throw this in i, don't, I have no idea or maybe they tried extremely hard and this is what they came up with you know we will never know unless we picked their brain but i still love it um uh, this would be a great car in any scale i mean i think so you know if they come out with these again in some other way I'll get it they, you know they got the big bumper I'd say they did a good job on the body you know, it's just that door gap is just enormous on this car it does open nicely though huge doors on this car and in real life got long there very long doors got that square Riviera dash I think they did the rake of the windshield pretty well look at that front grill Mm, amazing <laughs> Buick Riviera so there's some Hot Wheels and Matchbox I just wanted to get caught up on some of the stuff that's been attracting me you know against all the other stuff that we've been looking at but yeah good little collection you know again they have their own little area and uh, building that up uh, as we go so more to come. We got uh, some new green light in Auto World that I found, so we'll get that caught up too. Uh, until next time.